Good morning everybody on the 21st of January here. So this is going to be our lesson on the 10 times table and I reckon you can tell me all about this um, by now but we'll have a quick recap. Our vocabulary is groups, equal groups, lots of arrays, repeated addition, multiplication and times table. We make equal groups and we recognise equal groups. We can add those groups together. We can use the multiplication symbol. We can write multiplication sim sentences and we can draw arrays and we can link it to the bar model. We've done our two times table. We're now going to do our 10 times table. Tomorrow we'll finish with our five times table. So let's warm up our maths brains with a few questions. Have a go at these and then we'll go through the answer. Brilliant. So. 10 more than 37. So we're adding an extra 10 on. So we're going to add a 10 onto this number. So that will let, make us have 47. So our greater than, equal to, or less than symbols. So let's have a look at the number sentences. Let's work out this one first. So we've got 15 add 7. So if I break 7 down into five and a two, 15 add five makes 20 and two more makes 22. So this side is equal to 22. Now we've got 15 add eight. Well, eight is a five and a three. So 15 add five is 20 add three more is 23. So we can see that this side is greater. It's got an extra one. So 23 is greater than 22. But we don't read it that way around. We say 22 is less than 23. So we can pop our less than symbol in there and it would be really nice if you could write the sentence as well so that would be 22 is less than 23 so let's have a look at this sentence then complete the sentence 48 equals n tens and n ones well i know that the four means the tens and the eight shows us how many ones there are so we have got, okay. Now it says, what is the name of this 3D shape? Now, some of you might have been tempted to write circle, but remember that's our 2D shape. The 3D shape is the same as holding a ball and we call the ball shape, its real name is a sphere. Again, that's on spelling frame in a couple of weeks or even now maybe. So, Let's move on to learning our 10 times table. And it's going to look really similar to our two times table. First of all, we're going to practice counting forwards and backwards in tens. Join in with me. 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 120, backwards, 120, 110, 100, 90, 80, 70, 60, 50, 40, 30, 20, 10. Let's cover a few of those up. There we go. And let's do this one. Okay, so let's have another go at counting in tens. Zero, ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty. 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 120, 120, 110, 100, 90, 80, 70, 60, 50, 40, 30, 20, 10. Okay, let's have a look then at adding our times table sentence to it. So something times 10, e uh, something, let's write it out, times 10 is, let add that in, zip, join in with me saying it too, zero times 10 is zero, one times 10 is 10, two times 10 is 20, three times 10 is 30, 
4 times 10 is 40. 5 times 10 is 50. 6 times 10 is 60. 7 times 10 is 70. 8 times 10 is 80. 9 times 10 is 90. 10 times 10 is 100. 11 times 10 is 110. 12 times 10 is 120. OK, so if you want to practice that now, that would be really good. If you watch this video, that one's just counting in tens, but it would be really good if you could have a go at saying it with your times against it. So 0 times 10 is 10, 0, 1 times 10 is 10, and so on. Have Press pause and have a go at practising that. Right, now you've practised a few times. Remember, we jump around a little bit, see if we can remember some. 3 times 10 is 30. 7 times 10 is 70. 10 times 10 is 100. 2 times 10 is 20. 11 times 10 is 110. Again, maybe you could jump around, possibly with an adult, Take a few minutes to practice jumping around those timetables, seeing if you can remember them. Super. So let's have a look at a little bit of our learning for this afternoon. So we're going to look at the bar models. OK, let's see how we can link the 10 times table to the bar model and our multiplication sentences. So here we know it's 20 is our answer. We've got one group of 10, two groups of 10. So this one is 2 times 10 is 20. Have a look at the other ones and see if you can work out what the missing numbers are and what the multiplication would be. Brilliant. Now you've had a go. Let's have a look at this one. What are the clues? We've got 10s in each box. Let's fill this box in first. So how many tens have we got? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six tens are 60 if we count it in tens. So we have got six groups of 10. So we can write that down here. We say six groups of 10 or six. And we've worked out the whole amount is 60. OK, down here, we've got this bit at the top, but no numbers down the bottom. When we count in something, we need to get to 50. wonder what we're counting to get to 50. Well, given our clue is our 10 times table, should we try counting in 10s? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. So we have got five groups of 10, which gives us to each of these boxes, we would need to write 10. So let's quickly okay. So here is our thinking activity for today. Have a look at this picture. How many groups have we got? How many in each one? Which one of these is shown? OK, if you looked carefully, let's have a look at one group. Well, actually, let's start with counting the groups. How many groups have we got? We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine groups. And they have got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten spots in. So we've got nine groups of 10 spots. Nine. Ah, here it is. Here it is. Here is nine groups of 10 spots. So let's have a little look at your activities today. So we've done some counting on the number line. So you'll be really quick at filling that out and counting up how many cookies in the jar. And can you maybe write the multiplication you did to match the cookies. We've then also looked at our bar models and can you write which multiplication goes next to them? We've got a few blank boxes. Again, use your counting in tens to help you. And finally, 
pop onto Dojo to see how fast you are at getting at your twos and your ten now your ten times tables. Looking forward to seeing it all on Dojo later.